This paper presents an approach for simulating the biological senescence and decay process in fruits. Our biologically derived model generates growth patterns for area of fungal and bacterial infection. Here we see a video of a real tomato decaying to motivate the effects we are attempting to simulate. Notice, there are multiple time-varying processes interacting at once on the fruit. Now we show an example of a simulated tomato using our approach. Our example demonstrates interactions between multiple biological processes on both the surface and the fruit substrate. Our model affects multiple layers of the fruit's anatomy. First, fungus and bacteria are grown on the fruit's exocarp. Second, the internal volume loses mass due to transpiration and becomes softer due to rot. We store our interactions in a series of time-varying map data structures. Here we demonstrate an apple's decay, showing how the fungal, soft rot, and nutrient maps grow and deplete over the simulation. This figure shows our fruit decay pipeline. First, the user chooses the fruit mesh, the fruit skin, and can set presets and parameters. Next, our reaction diffusion transpiration model calculates fungal proliferation and nutrient depletion. The results change the time-varying map data structures, which affect the skin and body's mass spring simulations. Lastly, we utilize Maya and Mental Ray to produce visually accurate shading. Here we show results of simulating an orange. Next, we show results of an apple's decay. We have designed and developed an authoring tool that integrates our simulation into Maya. The interface provides the user with automatic presets of fruit, mold, and environmental options. To generalize the simulation, we provide custom parameters that allow novel effects to be created. Users can change the fruit's water content, mold growth rates, and adjust the temperature and humidity. Across the top of our tool, the user can visualize the time-varying data structures on the mesh. Here we see the different time-varying data structure options being presented to the user. Each stage can be further customized by an artist if desired. Though we demonstrate three different fruit types, our system can import novel geometry, set it as the fruit body, choose new pressure points, and run our simulation. This demonstrates how our method can generalize to other fruit examples as desired. We asked three users to create different effects using our tool. These are their final results. We compare our results side by side to real data to demonstrate that they are visually satisfying. We show a bottom-up data capture of a real tomato decaying over the course of a month. We see the fruit begins to decay at contact points where pressure is the highest. Lastly, we show a group of fruit decaying together. Fungal growth favors the points where fruits are in contact with each other. Our system can automatically detect these points.